Hey, yo, wife beater techniques is here. I just got off work. Look, this video is late. Life does life things. It's been a rough few days. Um, nonetheless, we uh making it through and we're, we're here. Here we go. This is the Ichigo Kurosaki Bankai, or should I say Ichigo part two trailer, character trailer. Let's get it. Hit that follow, hit that like, hit the share. Here we go. So, so, Tenzan Sangetsu. Oh, that intro is fucking nice. Getsuga Tensho, a long range attack that can improve by holding the inputs, okay? Getsuga Aura. Ah, oh, the sword. Yeah, I was just watching this episode recently. What? Behold. My holification! <laughs> this looks sick. Okay. Reawakening. That verse is stable action with high. Oh! Oh, 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 We're going to rewatch this. We're going to rewatch this. We're going to rewatch this. I, I, if I understand what's happening. If I understand what's happening. Yeah. Okay, this is cool. This just uh, this is basically reinforces attacks, makes things stronger, probably causes additional stagger. Okay. And you see it over on the other side that he has it. This is what I'm talking about. <clears throat> okay, let's break it down. <clears throat> let's break it down. Let's break it down. Let's break it down. Let's break it down. All right, here we go. First of all, the presentate this presentation is fucking sick. The fact that he just goes like this, and he just goes right into Bankai, that fucking flow, that's sick. That's fucking sick. That's fucking sick. Stupid sick. But particularly, there are a few things that obviously change uh, from his arsenal, from his original costume to this one. Obviously, in the other one, he has like that uh, so that 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 big sword strike, and then he has the Katsuga Tensho, kind of similar with a buff re uh, reinforcement as well. This one, you get the Katsuga Tensho blade, which buffers uh, your your regular attacks, and obviously increases your Katsuga Tensho power scale as well, which is which is crazy. Um, and that 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 that. That's one key difference, and of course, uh, in a lot of the way that that, that that fights. Now, I I'm not a fan of reused animations. You understand what I'm saying? So, like, I don't want this to be a reused animation. The only thing that they changed was that oh, he's now swinging with one arm versus him swinging his sword with two arms. You understand what I'm saying? And that's the only thing that they changed to make the subtle difference that he's in level one or level two kind of thing um but continuing on we have of course the Kazuko tent show this one here you can actually control it in regards to um <clears throat> uh this one you can actually control it in regards to not just the damage output 
but how fast it goes. So this actually is gonna be a very, very, very good move now to keep people at bay and use within the mid range and long range in order to like, basically like a Hadouken per se. Let's put it like that, like a Hadouken. And then holding it down will obviously increase the damage output and probably lower down the speed of it when you do release it. Fast forward to that, you have the Getsuga Aura. This is essentially covering the sword with the Getsuga Tensho. This increases the damage output of your regular techniques. Of course, um, if you do a Getsuga Tensho with this, on it it is amplified damage for him as well things like that um cool thing is uh it does wear off after a certain amount of attack so you don't got to worry about it being a time thing if he does five slashes no matter what it's going to disappear if he does four slashes no matter what it's going to disappear kind of thing now this was the second part which is really cool when he transforms into the hollow mask to be honest we already knew that transforming into the hollow mask, all of this was going to come with it. It's basically an X-Factor move, an X-Factor awakening. You got to understand that I'm using an X-Factor, but there are different versions of an X-Factor in different kind of games. Arvo versus Capcom Infinite and such started adding like these different kind of comeback mechanics, which entail makes the game unpredictable per se, you know, uh, and and in this sense, it's kind of cool that, for example, this one is a straight up, like, everything just increases overall his power. The amount that, he said, the amount of power, the amount of spiritual power acquired slightly increases, allowing Ichigo to make the most of his spiritual pressure move. So, essentially, the a key thing with this one is that he has, basically, per attack, you're going to gain more uh, Reishi back. You're going to get more of that spiritual pressure back. It will allow you to like do like the Kasuga Ten show and things like that a lot faster. And for people who can figure out how to like do tilt combos and do fast combos to get this thing up, you can basically kind of like spam a little bit there. So things like that is kind of like the, the, the pipeline as to where this is coming from. There is this part where it's called reawakening. And <clears throat> the reawakening, they haven't shown anything here because there's no, like, how do I say this? They don't want to show off too much for this, for this shit. But what I am definitely uh, getting is that there's a possibility that this itself activates when you go down in the battle so see it as the mechanism for like revival for frieza and like um dragon ball legends kind of thing so like when ichigo gets beaten this particular form takes over now in this particular form you have everything buffed up probably like your spiritual pressure not dropping uh, you know, almost barely, and it 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 is it, basically you got to survive the tide kind of thing. On the flip side, though, on the flip side, what I think that this particular Ichigo is going to represent is what I I would like to call is like the Akuma of the characters, because if he has a reawakening mode, that means that his health bar and everything else is going to be low ass cheeks like complete ass cheeks and i'm okay with that that means you got to play very fair you got to play very honest with him in order to be able to do what you got to do but the thing is for every transformation i am guaranteeing this his health output is going to be less and less so like in his mass form when you hit him it's going to take way more damage to his um kompaku then when he was in his bankai form the same way applies in, in this reawakening mode when he's in this reawakening mode i can almost tell you that you having someone like kempachi or sajin or any of them that hits extremely hard if you're able to dodge or able to get the upper hand on the reawakening full holification mode 
you're probably going to deal massive damage to the Kompaku. Like one hit, two hits, and you're going to see the bar going like, like caving in. Because th these characters like this are not designed to have an insane amount of health. Now, the flip side is Okiora does. Okiora is a high regenerative hollow, and he explained that. So their damage output is going to be insane kind of thing. And that's what I got for the Ichigo part. If you guys enjoyed that and if you guys enjoy these kind of videos, y'all already know what to do. Hit the follow, hit the like, hit the share. Continue coming through here on the channel. Holla at your boy techniques and we will be back with the next video almost immediately after this one, of course, for the Okiora breakdown because I didn't realize that I just had so much to say. Thank y'all, love y'all, and catch you in the next video. Peace.